Hey guys, what's up? It's KB here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your games more colorful and vibrant. If you're a gamer, this is going to be really, really helpful. Trust me. It will make your game look better and maybe you'll get better at the game too. So there are actually many ways to do this, but I'm going to show you guys two best methods that I think are the best. So without doing any delay, let's just jump into it. So the first method is by using a Razer Cortex Game Booster. This is a little free program used by gamers. It also helps to boost the game when you play the games. So just go here and download it for free, install it. Once you install this, you'll see something like this and you will also see all of the games that are available on your pc so once you're here go to game booster tab and after that booster prime and after that choose the game that you want to play so right now one of the most popular fps game is valorant and that is the only game that i have installed right now so i'm gonna choose valorant and after that make adjustments Click on that option and by default make adjustments toggle will be turned off. You need to turn this on and you need to play with this setting digital vibrance. Just go all the way to 100 just like that and you'll notice that your monitor will be more vibrant more colorful if you go to the game and here we are inside the game and you can see the game looks totally different i mean not that different just more colorful and vibrant and bright the colors are all like colorful what do you expect from like what <laughs> uh, once you do this make adjustments and uh, turn up the digital vibrance according to your liking but just go all the way 100 trust me it looks good all right but still if you're someone who doesn't want to have like really colorful game then you can turn that a little bit down next time if you launch the game it will automatically change the color of the game and your entire pc actually it affects the your monitor your monitor color will change every time you launch the game once you have done this setting and once you close the game it will automatically turn off the uh, the color effect the vibrance okay so this is one of the easiest and best way to change the color in game i really like it i just want to do before and after just look at this all right this is before all right colors i mean you don't notice if you play valorant and in this like normal settings normal color you won't notice anything but now turn up the make adjustments and go back to the game and you can see wow all of a sudden game is looking 100 times better and i mean 100 times better all right just look at this this is just wonderful oh uh, maybe i'm just too bad let's just go to the lobby actually okay now let's jump into uh, uh, the next method without using any software maybe some of you guys are curious what is your rank in valorant and yeah, this is my rank right now next method is by using a nvidia control panel if you have a nvidia graphics card then you'll have this setting you don't have to uh, install any software or anything like that uh, make sure that you have installed a driver for your nvidia graphics card and after that just look for the nvidia control panel in here if you go display and under display adjust desktop color settings if you go here you'll find one really cool setting actually the similar setting called digital vibrance okay you can turn that up and your monitor will look colorful and your game will also look colorful uh, let me jump into the game again actually the death match <laughs> look at this colorful all right so if you have a nvidia graphics card then i mean you can use this option too but there is one tiny problem you'll have to adjust this setting every time you play a game or you will have to keep this setting for forever uh, because there is no automation like the game booster in game booster you launch the game with the settings uh, uh, saved it will change the color once you launch the game and once you close the game it will go back to normal but you can't do that with nvidia control panel as far as i know but there is one really good thing 
about NVIDIA control panel that you can change the brightness and contrast, gamma and even hue which will make your game go crazy. Uh, so yeah, it has more advanced settings to change the almost everything about the colors. Uh, in Game Booster, you can only change the digital vibrance. That's all. But in uh, NVIDIA control panel, you can make your game brighter or maybe change the contrast, maybe change the camera. But you know, just by changing the digital vibrance settings, you'll get really good results. You don't have to touch anything. But if you're someone who feel like the game isn't bright enough or isn't contrasty enough, then you can change the contrast and the uh, brightness. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you use, Game Booster or uh, NVIDIA control panel, you'll get the same results by changing the, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> digital vibrance settings. Uh, yeah, it makes your game look like 100 times better. <laughs> okay just right now compare my video this gameplay video with your normal game you'll see huge difference and trust me it makes uh, spotting enemies or you know generally spotting anything in the game really good i mean better okay you, you'll see things better that's what i was trying to say without headphones it's really hard to find enemies you know but i'm having fun just look at the game color okay it just feels so good so right actually you know this this should be a thing in in game actually you know game developers should put something like this in their game so we can change the color of the game you know according to our liking oh. <laughs> okay never mind i'm just bad just look at this this is so wonderful you know i'm so happy to find out this actually i just been like two or three weeks i have been playing with this digital vibrant settings and it is really good yeah it it makes your gameplay experience better plus makes you better because everything is so clear so that's it or one more tip actually if you're someone who wants to use the nvidia control panel what you can do is go in here when you launch the game uh, open the nvidia control panel and after that uh, turn up the digital vibrance and put you know don't apply or don't do anything it will actually change the color of your monitor and game and then play the game once you're done just close the control panel and don't save the settings just like that and everything will be fine yeah back to normal it's up to you whether you want to use the nvidia control panel or game booster to be honest okay first i found out about the game booster i used it and then now i also know about the nvidia control panel and actually i use nvidia control panel more than the game booster sometimes i just use the game booster but mostly i use the nvidia control panel and don't save the settings when i'm done playing i just close the control panel and it just undoes every setting that i have done i like the nvidia control panel because uh, uh, it has more options like you can change the brightness you know contrast hue gamma and everything so so yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it uh, i will put link in the description for the uh, razer cortex game booster website you can go there and download it for free and just in case if you don't have the latest nvidia uh, graphics drivers then i will also put link in the description for official nvidia website from there you can download the latest graphics drivers and you know have fun with the nvidia control panel too if you want to use it if you still have any questions or any suggestions please do the comment i'll be very happy to reply you or maybe just chit chat with you in the comments yeah that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye